I'm Barbie the Welder, and this is How to Weld a Dog. For your dog, your parts are going to depend on what size and shape dog that you want to do and how you want them to sit or stand. You're going to need a head and I'm using a large bolt that is eye area and muzzle nose. I'm using two lock washers that I'm going to weld on for the eyes. This large knot I'm going to cut right in half and each half is going to be ears coming out. You're going to need a neck. I want a dog collar so I'm using a larger lock washer for a dog collar. I'm using a large bolt with the head cut off for the body. And because I want my dog to sit, I've got two solid bolts for the front legs. I'm going to go on like this. And then the back legs, I have two shorter bolts together. They're the same length as the front, but these will be able to go where they are. Like this on the back, so it's the way a dog's leg would look if he was sitting down or it's got the little bend in it. And you're also going to want a tail, a little bolt for a tail. My first step is to take the large knot and cut it in half. And to do that, I'm using my CP9116 cutoff tool. That cut in half, I'm going to use my CP875 die grinder with a wire brush and I'm going to deburr any sharp edges. Next, we're going to weld the eyes on by holding the lock washers with a pair of pliers and then placing a small tack weld inside the eye. Once you get your ears set up where you want, go ahead and place two small tack welds on the back. I'm holding the face in my whelpers just to hold it still so it stays up and so I've got the ears at the right angle. I get a kind of front face view of what he's going to look like. I'm going to set the head aside now and work on the body. That way when I connect the head and neck to the body, they'll be at the correct angle. So go ahead and take your body and your front leg and you're just going to put it up to there where it needs to be and you're going to place one tack weld on either side of the front leg. You're going to switch around and do the same thing to the other front leg. To get the angle of the back leg, simply hold your two bolts up and just kind of see where they are. Dog's leg kind of angles out, so I've got this angled out. I'm going to place a small tack weld right here on the knee and then go in and weld the bottom of his leg to his butt cheek. Flip them upside down and place two small tack welds on, oh, on his rear end. To weld his tail on, just hold it up to his backside and place one solid tack weld on either side. Now that you've got the body done, it's time to put the head and neck on. And I wait to do this last because you want to make sure the angle is right. The face makes the whole thing. So you can have him looking up, you can have him looking to the side or looking down. 
So figure out which way you want his head to go. Put the neck on by just welding two spots, one, one tack weld on either side. Before you weld the head on, make sure if you're gonna put a, um, a collar on them, that you weld the neck on, put the collar on, and then put the head on, because you can't put the collar on after you put the head on. I learned that the hard way. Make sure that his head is straight when you go to weld it and the angle you want and just simply place a tack weld on the front and on the back. To finish them up, clean them up with a wire brush and you can clear coat them with a clear coat made for metal. Poof! No, I told you not to poop in the shop! I'm in the process of creating exclusive metal art classes. Head over to my website and sign up today to be the first to know what's going on.